It's really amazing what a year can do for some companies. Just look at LG for example, who went from a fall from grace type of situation in 2016, to somehow turning things around for the better by the time 2017 came to a close. Being a seasoned veteran in the mobile space, having accumulated a diversified portfolio of phones, the South Korean company has seen its fair share of ups and downs, but through it all, they've managed to remain relevant, something that can't be said about everyone. Many will argue that they still fall under the shadow of Samsung, always trying to catch up, yet never able to once really push ahead of its longtime rival. Nevertheless, LG's history in the mobile space is an interesting one, primarily because they really didn't start making considerable headway until roughly five years ago. We've seen many companies once regarded as darling gems in the market eventually succumb to pressures, but yet, here's LG kicking along, surviving, and potentially about to unleash something truly epic to keep its momentum going strong. We've seen many smartphones from LG over the years, but in this particular piece, we're going to go down memory lane and reminisce about the 10 phones that redefined LG's identity. This list will be in chronological order just to provide you with some insights about their struggles and successes, so without any more wait, let's begin. 1. LG VX6000, in 2003 We're kicking the list off with the LG VX6000, a flip phone released on Verizon back in 2003 prior to the smartphone era. What's remarkable about this one was that it was LG's first phone for Verizon to feature a camera which was rather unique at a time when this was considered a luxury. And yes, you could even take selfies using the minuscule mirror on the phone. Aesthetically, the VX6000 was a sharp-looking phone accentuated by the external 3-line OEL display it was rocking at the time, something that definitely caught people's attention with its polarizing colors. Few LG flip phones were as memorable as this one. Two. LG VX8500 Chocolate, in 2006. Okay, so the LG VX8500, known to most people in the US as simply the LG Chocolate, VX8500, might not have garnered a better rating in our review, but it's still nonetheless one of those phones that changed LG's identity. Again, it was a Verizon exclusive slider styled phone with an emphasis on music, because at the time, it wasn't all that common to find phones doubling as MP3 players. You could say that it looked very similar to an iPod, especially with its touch-sensitive control pad. Instead of having the need to carry two devices, the LG Chocolate merged the phone and MP3 player into one singular device, you couldn't ask for more back then. 3. LG VX10000 Voyager, in 2007 By now, it's pretty evident that LG's early successes were mostly with Verizon, as the carrier received some of the most memorable feature phones from them. It all seemingly culminated with the release of the LG VX10000 Voyager in 2007, which was a multimedia behemoth of a phone featuring a then giant sized touch screen, web surfing capabilities, and a landscape style QWERTY -E keyboard. Even though it wasn't a smartphone, the LG Voyager was a superb super feature phone of sorts that covered the entire multimedia spectrum, offering music and video streaming. If you were on Verizon, the LG Voyager was definitely the phone to get back in 2007. 4. LG GW620, in 2010. Strangely enough, very few people know LG's first ever Android powered smartphone. Unlike the T Mobile G1, Motorola Clique, and Samsung Galaxy, LG's foray into Android wasn't as hyped, but that title of being its first Android smartphone went to the 2010 released LG GW620. This landscape QWERTY packing smartphone largely went unnoticed because it had a limited release. In fact, it never made its way to the US, which is shocking considering this was their first Android-powered smartphone. Even though it never reached the same level of acclaim that other first Android smartphones received, the GW620 was the stepping stone to bigger and better things down the road with their involvement in Google's mobile platform. 5. LG Optimus One, in 2010 
Things finally started to perk up for LG by the time they released the Optimus One back in 2010. Rather than tackling the upper end of the spectrum at the time, LG opted to instead focus its attention on the lower end by offering a relatively affordable Android smartphone in the Optimus One. Sure, it didn't have an impressive specs sheet, nor a design to die for, but despite that, the LG Optimus One redefined LG's identity because it was priced to undercut the competition, while still delivering a sound package with its performance. And you know what? It was the first smartphone LG released that sold over 1 million units. 6. Google Nexus 4, in 2012 Competing against the likes of Samsung, HDC, and even Motorola during 2012, LG managed to surprise everyone by landing the contract to manufacture the fourth iteration in Google's Nexus line, the aptly named Google Nexus 4. This partnership no doubt helped to establish LG as a premier player in the smartphone space, as they started to make significant headway in the high-end space with the release of the LG Optimus G a couple of months back. With the Nexus 4, LG showed off a stunning design with a glass back panel that produced this neat holographic effect. Even more impressive was the fact that the Nexus 4 was graced with a lower starting price point than previous Nexus smartphones. 7. LG G2, in 2013 LG has released countless phones in its popular G line, but the G2 stands out for redefining the company's identity because it set forth the fundamental ideologies of its future phones. Not surprisingly, the LG G2 was every bit a high-end smartphone when it was released in 2013, but it was the first in the G line to position its power button and volume controls in the rear of the phone something that's still a staple with the series. The software, too, received an overhaul by being one of the most customizable skins around, while also establishing key features such as knock-on to turn on the display by tapping on it twice. 8. LG G Flex, in 2013 Generating considerable confidence thanks to the success of its Android smartphones. LG showed us in 2013 that they weren't afraid to experiment and gamble. The LG G Flex was no doubt a remarkable phone for many reasons, one of them being the fact that it was the first to incorporate a true flexible display, as opposed to just a curved glass that covered a display. Moreover, the LG G Flex featured this unique self-healing rear cover that minimized the look of scratches. Obviously, this showed all of us that LG was willing to go outside the norm. And in this case, the G Flex did have a mostly favorable reception. 9. LG G5, in 2016 Well, we can't say the same for the LG G5, which was released in 2016 and nearly upended the company's momentum in the process. First of all, the reason why the G5 redefined LG's identity is because it was a hard lesson learned for them. Compared to its predecessors, the G5 saw dramatic changes, with most of that being a new metal chassis that featured a modular design. LG believed it was onto something with its modular implementation, but as it turned out, it failed to capture the interest of consumers. Needless to say, they took a serious gamble with all of the drastic changes, but this time it wasn't in their favor. 10. LG V30, in 2017 after taking a tumble with the G5, LG bounced back somewhat the following year with its successor in the G6, which brought things back to the basics. While it managed to redirect the company's momentum in a positive direction, it wasn't until later in the fall of 2017 when the LG V30 really took command and helped to redefine things once again. Built as one of the most advanced phones for video recording, it remains one of the few smartphones in circulation to really emphasize video recording, by providing content creators with manual controls, effects, and other tools to take control of every aspect of the recording process. What is your favorite LG phone? Let us know your thoughts and comments. To discover more Android and LG related content, don't hesitate to subscribe to the S Sorrels channel.